In the mid-1800s, the overloading of cargo ships had become a major problem. By 1836, the public concern over the loss of crew members and vessels had become so great that the British Parliament appointed a committee to investigate the growing number of shipwrecks. As is often the case in such instances, much of the issue revolved around money. You see, as seafaring commerce developed during this time in history, insurance coverage on the cargo would often entice ship owners to overload their ships, putting them in a dangerous situation. And if a ship arrived to its destination safely, while well, the payoff would be greater for the heavily loaded ships. And if a ship sank, well, the insurance would cover the loss. Unfortunately, the cargo on these vessels included human lives, and thousands of people died on these dangerous voyages. So in 1876, the British government passed the Merchant Shipping Act, and this law required that a line be placed on the bow of all ships to indicate the maximum weight that they could carry for safe passage. So if that line dipped below the water level, that was an indication that the ship was overloaded, and so some of the items would have to be removed. Well, that line on the ship became known as the Plimsoll line, or the Plimsoll mark, either one, and it was named after Samuel Plimsoll, the British reformer who was instrumental in the passage of the law. Well, you and I also have a line, though you can't see it, of course, but it's, it's a line beyond which you and I cannot be overloaded with temptation. We see it in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13, where the Apostle Paul said that God will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we're able to bear, but will, with the temptation, also provide a way to escape that we may be able to bear it. So that means that the devil and the world and the flesh cannot tempt us beyond a line that we're able to bear, which means then that if we're tempted and we give in, we cannot hide behind the alibi of the devil made me do it. Or, well, I just couldn't help myself. So if you fall into temptation, if we give in and we sin, we need to own up to it and then confess it to God and through his mercy find forgiveness. Thank you for watching, and be kind.